If you have low back pain due to a lumbar disc problem, then this video is for you. The disc is this shock absorbing cushion between two vertebras. If you have a disease of the disc, it will hurt when you bend forward like this because you're compressing the disc. In this video, I will show you three resting positions to alleviate your pain, two exercises that you can do for pain relief and three positions that you should avoid. This is what I call the 323 method. And the goal is to alleviate your symptoms while your body does the process of healing. You should continue with your usual activities like walking and working. This process may take four to six weeks until your acute low back pain resolves. So today, I'll talk about the 323 method to treat lumbar disc disease. A few years ago, I had this problem, and I know how bad this pain can be. In my case, I was brushing my teeth in the morning, then I sneeze inwards. I felt a sudden twitch on my lower back. Immediately, I felt like a ball of fire in the middle of my lumbar spine. This lasted for about four weeks. The pain was much aggravated when I bend it forward or I sit. After about four weeks, the pain started getting better and by six weeks, I had no more pain. And this was 10 years ago. I did not need to see my doctor. I only saw a fantastic physiotherapist that worked with me, Ruth Vallis. She saw me for one single session. She examined me and told me what to do. I did not need any X-ray, CT scan or MRI. I know that this imaging test will show a lot of abnormalities, even in people without any symptom of back pain. For example, among people uh, of 50 year old people, 80% will show a disc degeneration, 60% will show disc bulge, and 35% will show disc protrusion. So, if the majority of asymptomatic people have these disc abnormalities in CT scans and MRIs, I would probably have them too. So, what is the point of doing these images? Well, for me, what was really important was to see the physiotherapist because Ruth examined me, she ruled out any serious conditions after she asked me about my symptoms and she examined me. So first, let me explain what this disc problem is. The disc is a cushion of water between the two vertebras. Its function is to act like a shock absorber, but this disc can degenerate and break up and the material that is supposed to stay inside the disc then gets out. With aging, the disc starts losing the water content. The same that happens with our skin and we start getting wrinkles and we call this disc degeneration. The disc can become thin or the disc can break up and let the content inside leak to the outside. The first stage is what we call disc bulging like this. If this extruded content compresses a nerve that is going to the leg, then we call this herniation, and the symptoms of pain going to the leg is known as sciatica. The pain from sciatica will be different from just the pain from the de degenerated disc, and this 3-2-3 technique that I will show you today will not work for sciatic pain. Sciatic pain is constant pain that radiates to one leg. I will do another video of positions and exercises for sciatic pain in the future. The exercise in the videos will also no, not work if you have low back pain that is aggravated by bending backwards. That's what we call facet joint pain. I will do another video to explain the positions of comfort, the positions to avoid, and the exercises to relieve a back extension pain. And this video will also not help you if you have a low back pain that is caused by muscle pain, deconditioning, or muscle weakness. I already have another video of exercise for myofascial back pain, and you can check here. So let's get started with this 3-2-3 method today. Remember, this method is aimed only to alleviate your pain while your body heals the disc problem. So you will need to do this for about four to six weeks after the pain started. First, I'll show you the three relieving positions. So this is the first position of comfort. It's called the Z lie position. You're going to lie flat on the floor. Put a pillow 
or cushion under your head. Get a chair and you're going to put your knees here and then you will bring the chair until your, the knees are above your abdomen. So when you reach this position, just relax, relax the back muscles and stay there. And if the surface is too hard for you, you can put a mat underneath or you can do this on the carpet, but try to stay there for at least five minutes. But if you can stay more, 10, 15, 20 minutes, that's excellent because that will relieve the pressure on your lumbar disc. So this position, you are going to lie down on the floor or on a mat. And uh, what you're going to do is lie on your stomach and you're going to start raising slowly on your elbows. See if you can keep your elbows 90 degrees. And you're going to stay on this position for about five minutes. If you can, 10, 20, 20 minutes, if you can hold, you can be doing something. You can be watching some videos. You can be reading a book. This is important because if your pain is aggravated when you bend forward, by doing this, you are bending backwards and you are putting, opening the space for your disc to go back in that space between the two vertebras. And this position is similar to the Z-Lie position, but this is if you are getting better and you don't need to do the Z-Lie position anymore. So you lie down with a pillow under your head, one pillow under your knees, if doing this does not give you comfort or pain relief, you can get another one, put under your knees, second one. And then when you do this, try to relax your legs and see if the pain goes away. If the pain doesn't go away, you can try a third one. And try to feel if all of the bones of your lumbar spine are touching the floor or the mat. And once you find the position of comfort, just stay there. And you can be there five minutes, 10 or 20. These are the three positions that help to alleviate the pressure on the lumbar discs. You should continue walking, swimming, dancing, working, and changing position as much as you can. Now I'll show you the two exercises that you can start to alleviate your pain. So this is the first exercise that you can start doing to improve your pain. So you're going to lie down on your stomach, put your hands in front of you, and you, this is called the sloppy push-ups. You're going to do this and you can do eight times you see you are extending bending forward the lumbar spine four five it's important that you keep your hands in front of you six seven do eight times and then if you can the next day you can increase to 12 times and if that's easy you can increase to 20 times and do this once a day until your pain is resolved which is about four to six weeks so this is the exercise standing back extensions so you're going to do the same thing that we did on the mat but now we can do this standing up which is very good because you can do this exercise anywhere when you are at home or if you are outside or if you are at work. So you can do this exercise uh, many times during the day. It's the same thing. So put your hands on your lower back and you're going to do hyperextension. Look at the ceiling if your neck is okay and come back. If you have neck pain, then you don't need to look at the ceiling. Just move your lower back and come back, so 
And again, you can repeat 12 repetitions. And if this gets easy, you can repeat 20 times. You can do once a day or more than once a day until your pain is resolved, which is about four to six weeks. Now, I'll show you the three positions that you need to avoid. So you need to be careful how you get up from the chair, from the sitting position. Because remember, this pain is aggravated when you bend forward. So if you're sitting in a chair or on a couch and you do this to get up, it's going to hurt every time you do this. So that is the correct way of getting up without putting all of the forces in your lumbar spine, which is using your quadriceps and your hips. So what you do is when you get up, you come close to the edge of the chair or the couch and now you're going to use your quadriceps so look at my lumbar spine it's not going to bend forward what i'm going to do is using my quadriceps so this is important if you are doing the dishes or ironing or doing anything that you have to do with standing up because when you are doing the dishes if you are like this you're bending your trunk all the time so in, or, or ironing, that you are ironing all the time like this, what we tell the patients to do is get um, a box or a little stool, put on the floor, and one of your feet will be um, on, the, on the top of the box. So when you do this, you are, you're keeping your lumbar spine straight and it's hard for you to be bending. So then you remember that by keeping this, the foot on the stool, you have to be ironing or doing the dishes without bending forward. So the higher this, the better, but if you don't have anything higher than this, a box, a shoe box or two shoe boxes should be okay. And the other important thing is to use some sort of lumbar support. If you're sitting, if you work with a computer, get something that you can uh, put to support, I, to support your lumbar spine. I got this for my car. So I use this in my car. Uh, I bought this 10 years ago when I had my episode of acute low back pain and I still love it. I use it in the car. Uh, so this is how it works. You put it in, the, in there and then it creates this support here for the lumbar spine. Um, but there are, if you don't have one of this, you can have a towel, make a roll of a towel, or you can just get a piece of foam. But you see, it creates this nice uh, curvature that support the lumbar spine and then you can relax. So you can use this, especially for people who spend many hours in the car. It's really important that they have a support for the lumbar spine if they have disc pain, lumbar disc pain. And, uh, and they can use this uh, also for computer work, for desk work, or even when they are watching TV, it's always nice to have a lumbar support that will give this curvature of the lumbar spine and, and and the depth of the lumbar spine really depends on your size how much curvature you have so you really need to try a couple of different sizes and um, depends on your body size but for me this one i really like to use this in the car and um, i'll put a link for this um, for you to find in the description of this video below now that you know what to do in the first four to six weeks after the pain started we call this the acute phase. I'll tell you what to do if your pain lingers beyond three months. This three to three method may not work beyond three months. In most cases of chronic low back pain, I find that muscle pain is a very important factor that perpetuates the pain. Well, what happens is that during the acute phase, the muscles were tense and tight to protect your lumbar discs. So after three months, the disc problem is probably healed Yes, the disc is still degenerated, but the acute inflammation is gone and your body healed that acute disc problem. However, what may still be aching are the muscles. We call this myofascial pain syndrome 
and I have a video for that. I also find that in most cases of chronic low back pain, not only the muscles get tense, but our mind gets worried and preoccupied. If we do not relax our mind and focus too much on our pain problems, it has a tendency to become worse. That's why I have a video about mind-body therapies for chronic pain. Please check here. I'd like to leave a big thanks to Ruth Vallis. She is retired now, but I spoke to her this week. She's about to release a book called Love is Blind. Ruth is a blind person since age of three, and she has been a leader in the integration of the blind in Canada. Her website is ruthvallis.com. And I feel so blessed for having had the opportunity to work daily with Ruth and for being one of her patients. So in the comments below, please write down your comments if you have a lumbar disc pain and which positions and exercises from this video worked best for you. Also, in the description of this video below, you may find a summary of this 323 method, including the positions and exercises that you can download and print to do at home. Also, there is a link to the, all products that I mentioned in this video if you want to purchase them. Please do not forget that this video is for educational purposes only. If you have a condition that needs medical advice, please talk to your doctor. And if there is an emergency, go to the nearest emergency department. If you like this video, give a thumbs up here, turn on the notifications and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Bye!